Checking the contents of your XPOL expert box. First, remove the instruction manual fixed to the lid. Read it fully before starting any assembly. All the contents are in the pre-shaped compartment tray. Remove the plastic covers from the carry and storage cases and take the cases out to reveal the upper dome, top insert, extension pieces and X joints. Now let's check you have everything. Start with the A pole. This is the heart of the expert pole and is the longest and heaviest piece. Then the B pole. This will be fixed to the A pole during assembly. Next is the 250mm extension. The X joint is already in place inside the extension piece. The smaller 125mm extension also has the X joint already in place inside the extension piece. The third X joint will be used to join the A and B poles together. The top insert sits inside the top of the pole to secure the upper dome to the pole. The upper dome has a centre hole where the top insert is located. The last piece of the kit is the articulating base. Notice the X mark on the base as this is used during assembly. To put the pole together, we have provided a tool kit with two Allen or hex keys. There is a 6mm and 5mm key included. Finally, there are some spare screws of different sizes. This completes the content check and now you are ready to start the assembly. Measuring the height of the ceiling and calculating the pole size required. Before assembling your X pole, you will need to know your exact ceiling height. To do this, you need a step ladder and a tape measure and the assistance of another person standing on the bottom of the ladder for support. Using the tape measure, measure the distance from the ground to the ceiling. Make sure the tape is vertical and taut and then remember or write down the measurement for future reference. Using that measurement and the X-pole height chart, check to see if you need any extensions. For a ceiling between 2,235 and 2,375 millimetres, you do not need any extensions. You will need a base, an A pole, an X joint, a B pole, a top insert, and an upper dome. For a ceiling between 2,360 and 2,500 millimetres, you need a single 125 millimetre extension. To assemble your pole, you will need a base, an A pole, an X joint, a B pole, another X joint, the 125mm extension, a top insert, and the upper dome. For a ceiling between 2,485 and 2,620mm, you will need one single 250mm extension. To assemble your pole, you will need a base, an A pole, an X joint, a B pole, another X joint, the 250mm extension, a top insert and the upper dome. For a ceiling between 2610 and 2745mm, you will need both the 250mm extension and the 125mm extension. To assemble your pole, you will need a base, an A pole, an X joint, a B pole, another X joint, the 250mm extension, another X joint, the 125mm extension, a top insert, and the upper dome. Remember, the smallest extension always goes at the top. Locating ceiling joists. Your X pole needs to be installed under a secure location, like a solid or concrete ceiling, a metal girder supported ceiling, or a ceiling using wooden joists. Your X pole must be directly under a joist to be secured firmly. Using a step ladder and someone standing on the bottom of the ladder, you can find the joist by either using a stud finder or tapping along the ceiling using your knuckle. A hollow sound will be between the joists and a solid sound under the joist. Mark where the joist is so you can find it later for the installation. Finding a suitable exercise and dance area. 
Using your mark on the ceiling, showing the joist location, place a chair under this spot. Now, with fully extended arms, walk around the chair to see if there is enough area to use your pole. If there is anything obstructing the area, then move it away to a safe distance. This area, now created, will enable you to fully extend your arms and legs when using your X-Pole. How the X-Joint works. X-Joints are used to securely join poles and extensions together. On the side of the X-Joint are two hex screw holes used to contract or expand the X-Joint. To expand the X-Joint, the 6mm hex key is inserted into the screw hole. It is important to push the key firmly until it is seated in the screw hole before turning. To expand the X-Joint, turn the hex key clockwise. To contract the X-Joint, so you can insert it or remove it from a pole, turn the key anti-clockwise. Alternate between the two screws so the X-Joint can contract or expand evenly. To insert the X-Joint into a pole or extension, align the key on the X-Joint. This is between the two screw holes and slot the X-Joint into the key slot located on the pole. Now add the next pole or extension and line up the key slot in the same way. Make sure the two parts close together fully before using the hex key to expand the X-Joint. To expand and secure the X-Joint, turn the hex key clockwise. It is important to alternate between both screws while tightening to ensure the X-Joint expands evenly. When no further force can be applied to the screws with the hex key, the X-Joint is secure. Connect the A pole to the B pole using an X joint. Taking your A pole and noting the hole in the tube, start the assembly by lining up the X joint screw hole with the screw hole in the pole. Once you start sliding the X joint into the pole, line up the key with the U keyway slot located in the pole. Then line up the other pole and slot it in the same way. Now push the poles together, making sure there is no gap. Take the 6mm hex key and insert it into the keyhole. Remember to push the hex key firmly into the socket. Don't forget to alternate between the screw holes so the X joint expands evenly. Once no further force can be applied to the screws, the pole is secure. Adding extensions. Before adding any extension to your pole, refer to the X pole height chart to see if you need any extensions. To add an extension to the B pole, first take an X joint and line up the X joint screw hole with the hole in the B pole. Slide the X-joint into place so it lines up with the screw hole and the key lines up with the U keyway slot in the pole. Now add the extension and again line it up with the hole in the pole and the X-joint screw hole and slide the extension on. Make sure the key lines up and then push the poles together making sure there is no gap. Now take the 6mm hex key, the one with the grip, and insert it into the keyhole. Remember to push the hex key firmly into the socket. Turn the hex key clockwise and expand the X joint, alternating between the screw holes so the X joint expands evenly. Now take the 180mm X-joint 
This is for the 125mm extension. The correct X joint will have an arrow mark. This should always point up towards the top of the pole. Line up with the screw hole in the X joint and the hole in the extension and slide it. Twist it slightly if needed to align. The screw hole should be visible and the key situated in the U keyway slot. Now to add the final 125mm extension. Now just line up the extension hole with the X joint screw hole and slide into position. Align the key and U keyway and push firmly together. Finally, expand the X joint evenly until tight with the 6mm hex key. You are now ready to put on the base. How to attach the base to the A pole. To attach the expert base, locate the X marks on the base. The X lines up with the flat sections on the base shaft. Use the flat sections and the X mark to line up the shaft with the A pole, static and spin screws. Using the 5mm hex key, Loosen both the screws on the A-pole by turning anti-clockwise. Take the expert base and line up the flat section with the screw on the pole. Insert the base, making sure it does not twist or fall out of alignment. The screws must align with the flat sections. With the hex key inserted, fully secure the base by winding the screws clockwise. Once the pole is installed, these screws will be used to later control the static and spin mode on the pole. Once secure, the base is now attached. Top insert attachment and upper dome. Once the A pole and B pole and any extensions have been assembled, Take the top adapter unit and insert it into the top of the assembled pole. Push it in firmly. Take the upper dome and check there is nothing in the hole and then slide it into the top insert. Now you are ready to install the expert pole. Installing the expert. Having assembled your pole with any extensions, Use the ceiling mark where you located a joist and position the base of the pole under the mark. Taking the top of the pole, slowly and carefully lift the pole until vertical and position it under the joist. Now with a helper, Use a 5mm hex key and unscrew the adjuster locking screws in the adjuster cover. Do not remove the screws, only undo them, a minimum of two whole turns. This will now allow the height of the pole to be adjusted. Start turning the pole anti-clockwise to raise and expand the pole against the ceiling. Make sure the dome sits flat on the ceiling. Visually align the pole with a door or use a spirit level. Make sure the pole is secure against the ceiling and will not slip. Once tight, apply positive pressure. To finish the assembly, align the keyhole slot on the adjuster cover with the vertical line on the pole. You should see the line through the slot. When they line up, re-tighten the three hex screws in the adjuster cover. Now you are ready to test the pole. Changing the static and spinning function. 
To change the pole from a static to spinning function, you will need the 5mm hex key. Locate the X mark on the base and above it there is a hex screw. There is also another one on the other side. Using the hex key, turn the hex anti-clockwise until the screws are flush with the pole. Make sure they are not proud of the pole. Now the pole will rotate freely. Spin it to check. To change from a spinning to static pole, align the hex screw with the X marked on the base. Now tighten the screw clockwise until tight. If needed, gently rotate the pole back and forth to help seat the screw. Fully tighten both screws and make sure both are tight. Finally, Test the pole to ensure it will not move or spin. Testing your X pole. Before using your pole, just check that the pole is secure against the ceiling and all the X joints are tight. If the pole is firm, you are ready to use your pole. Now test the pole with one foot on the ground and then both feet off the ground. You are now ready to use your pole.